Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be doing another unboxing of this month's Yu-Gi-Oh! parts If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below in the description box, but it's a subscription server similar to Loot Crate, but it's just for Yu-Gi-Oh! But anyways, let's go ahead and bust open up our box. So that hooks me up with this one. Uh, let's go ahead, open it up, and uh, we'll see what we get in here, because it's always a surprise what packs you're going to be getting, and that's awesome. I like how it's a surprise. Uh, and usually they give you a few of the new set. At least that's what happened last time. Ooh, okay. So, here's what we got. So many different packs. All right. Let's go ahead and grab our trusty Karambit. And uh, let's go ahead and crack it open. Let's see what we get. So, oh, we have... Oh. Oh, this is actually a foreign. Um, ooh. I'm, I don't want... I don't know if... Is this uh, Spanish? I don't know what this one is. And we also get the bonus special one where it has uh, cards that are like a custom pack, which I think is really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, crack open. Oh, we got some OCG stuff too. That is pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I want to, I kind of want to open up this one first. Like, the, you, you know how some, in some videos they always save like the thing that people really want to see for the last. I, I ain't about that life, you know. I, I show off what uh, I like uh, first. Like. All right, so let's go ahead and open up. This is, uh, I think this is, uh, is this MRD? Metal Raiders? Well, let's go ahead and crack it open and find out. Uh, let's just open up with a crambit. Oh, there we go, we got it. Ooh, all right. Is this MRD? Oh, it's PMT. What is PMT, man? All right. Oh, you guys let me know in the comment section below. But we got Lobo Gigatech. We got Sagi. Oh, the Sombro. And then we got the, uh, Oh, is this Portuguese? Anyways, we got the Beast Paladia. We got Yujis Huzia. And we got the Mask of Darkness, aka the Mascara da Esquarado. Or is it Spanish? I don't know. You guys let me know. Jirai Gumo? Oh, that was like the same name. And then we got Dr Dragao. We got Escorpio, and then we got Rato Prevento. Okay, that was kind of cool. Unfortunately, we didn't pull a foil out of that. That would have been pretty awesome, but that was still pretty cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and open them in order. So, let's see. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. And then, wait, wait, this one came with two bonuses. Wow, dude, that's awesome. All right. So, let's go ahead and crack and open up the uh, Millennium Pack. So, we'll see uh, if it's, uh, like, you know, good out of this pack. Oh, so we got the Red Spread Ruin. Uh, ooh, we got an Ultra Rare. That's pretty sweet. The Curse of Dragonfire. Karibo. The Dark Paladin and Black Rose and Hey, that's kind of nice. I don't think this card is really worth anything, but hey, definitely better than not pulling a foil, right? All right, so let's go ahead and crack open up our next pack, which uh, let's go ahead and, oh, well, okay, I want to save this for the last, definitely, because uh, those are like the, the custom packs, and I, I want to know what the heck is in these other ones first. So this one is a Zexel uh, pack, uh, OCG stuff. Pretty awesome. All right. Ooh, Japanese packs. The, 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 the packaging is a little different. Anyways, don't know what this card is, honestly. Uh, some type of slot machine quick play. Baby Tyragon. Um, no idea on that one. Oh, no idea. You guys, you guys can be like, oh, wow, what, you screw up? You don't remember this card? All right. I'll definitely admit sometimes I don't remember every single card. I know a lot. We got another, we got two more OCG packs. Oh, this is like a, we got triple OCG packs in this one. That's kind of cool. It's always nice to see, um, you know, OCG cards because sometimes they're different. Uh, they have different artworks and sometimes we have cards that, uh, uh, you know, that are only available in TCG and they have ones that are only available in the OCG. So it's, again, kind of nice just to have both. Um, whoa. And another Shining Victory, that's the recent pack. And then, oh, hold on, I want to open up this one right now. <laughs> uh, this is Battle Pack 3, I, I think, is this the one with Daiguso Emerald? I think this this might be the one where, like, it's like Daiguso Emerald only. It's Daiguso Emerald or there's no good cards, for the most part, as far as the foils go. But, uh, we got the Forbidden Script, that's not a bad card. Uh, we got the uh, Shattered Foil Enraged Battle Ox, the Telekinetic Shocker, and Master Craftsman Gamble, Lord, uh, Lord Poison, yeah. I like that card. That was back in the, the day when I was like trying to make a, a real plant deck. Not not even not like plant synchro. We're talking just like straight up plants with like uh, was it ivy shackles. Um, what's that? Tree of. I was about to say tree of might. That's Dragon Ball Z. It's a wrong game. Oh, Elemental vs. Chinatrix OCG. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we got the. Uh, oh, these are Korean actually. KR. Um, don't know what that guy is. I want to say there's an E hero. 
Then we got, oh, is that Bubble Shuffle, Draining Shield, and then like a card tip. Whoa. Roar returning alive plus uh, Rota. Excellent small little like tip, card tip right there. All right, uh, I want to save this one for the last. I got that Yusei Fudo over here. Let's see if we can ball uh, OCG Starter Strike. That would be pretty hot. Um, next up we have Return of the Duelist. This is actually a pretty good set. So there's still a lot of good ultimate rares um, in uh, some of these older packs. They're still like worth a lot of money. Like for example, like Ultimate Soul War. And that card is still a pretty pricey card indeed. But uh, this pack is getting stuck on my my finger. All right, we got Photon Caesar. We got Ninjutsu Art of Shadow Seizing. Uniflora, Mystical Beast of the Forest, Trance the Magic Swordsman, Eco, the Mystical Spirit of the Forest, and Amores, a Prophecy Compulsory Escape Device, Spoke of Power, Atlantean Attack Squad. I remember when I put Atlantean Attack Squad, it like it specifically allows you to like get off a specific OTK. Uh, and, you know, oh, and we even got a Mega Pack. That's pretty cool. That's a really good pack. From 2015, though. Um, so, uh, most of the good stuff kind of got banned on the, the, or got hit by the ban list, I should say, because not everything was essentially banned, but a lot of stuff got hit pretty hard. But, uh, let's go crack open the Shining Victory. Let's see what we get in this. So, we got the Pokemon Power Seashell Crab Cause Morning, Lunalite Purple Butterfly Digital Cocoon Dancer, we got Bloom Up Prima, the Melodious Choir, Tuner's High, Lunalite Wolf, Dynamis Spinos, Bad Aim. This would be like a Call of Duty perk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we got the uh, Mega, and we got a Wing Raider. So let's open up the Wing Raiders one real quick. Got to get the uh, the Raid. Ra oh, it's just this is the Raid Raptor one, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see what we pull out. Of. So we got Rank Up Astral Force, that's a decent card. Call on a decent card. Cart Car Gorgon, decent card. Ghost Trick Ollie card, decent card. And an Ultra Rare Tribute Lanius. Hey, that was pretty good. That's two Ultras already. And then we got the Raid Raptor Nest, uh, and then got Ragged Gloves. But Ollie card is still a decent card. I think the card might be worth like a couple bucks. Karen Gorgon might be worth like a dollar or two. I think Rank Up might be worth like a dollar or two also. That's not so bad. All right. And then we got, of course, our Mega Pack. All right. Let's see what we get in this pack, boys. So we got Wall of Disruption. Super Heavy Samurai uh, Soul Bane Cannon Galactic Charity. Uh, Command Performance. Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. The Social Wall Trap Trick Day. I'm not about. Ooh, Shadok Construct. Too bad. You banned. <laughs> Rip. Yangzing power. Oh, hey, dude, the new Yangzing coming out. This card might be worth some bucks. Utopia Beyond. Not too bad of a card. Yangzing Piranha. Satellar Vega. Artifact Chakram. Yangzing Unleash. Capella. Toy Knight. And lastly, for our other packs, before we get into our bonus packs, that are the custom packs, we uh, we gotta open up the Duelist pack. Oh, come on. Stardust Dragon, please. I've I've really wanted that card. Uh, I think this is this is KR, guys. So it's different than the. I, do I have a? I don't know if I. I still have one. I I, I opened a bunch of the OCG stuff and I I got a few Stardust, but I, I did a giveaway and I kind of wanted to keep one, but rip. Uh, Remote Blast. Um, I don't remember that card. Defense Draw though. Junk Synchron. Uh, some Mirror Card. Oh no, Foil. Open Pepperonis. All right, well we still got two custom packs. Then we're gonna go ahead and crack open. So let's go ahead and uh, crack open up those packs. So they are sealed over here. Get my trusty Karambit. Okay. All right. Let's see what's in this. The, the custom. The two custom packs that we got for this month's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh crate. Basically, Yu-Gi-Oh loot crate. All right. So we got the. Oh, is that Obsidian Joe Hawk? Oh, Heavy Storm. Hey, that's a good card. Ooh, is that a, that's a Shatter Foil one. Hold on, can we, can we compare the OCG ones? I want to say the OCG ones, like Shadow Foils are better than TCG ones. I think it got like a... Hey, what did I get that was Shadow Foil? Battle Ox. Let, let's check out the difference, if there is any. Because I, I always say OCG's cards, they look different. I want to say this one's relatively similar. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in it. I'd say they're pretty much the same uh, on this, as far as like the Shadow Foil goes, but that's kind of cool. Then we got an Element of Hero card, and then we got a DDD card. Um, not bad. Uh, I think this is, is this Obsidian Joe? All right, that's pretty cool. And then we got another a bonus pack. So maybe this was like an OCG special, like, you know. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, I know Loot Crate does like themes. Maybe this one was like OCG. That's kind of cool. Some people, you know, they're just card collectors, so they like getting, you know, every card. You know, like it's like the Pokemon games where you can only get like red, red and blue. Only you have to get both <laughs> to get all catch them all, right? All right. So our first card we got is the Magic Spectre Toad Ogama. Next up we got oh, Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss. 
Then we got Lumina Ultra Rare. That's a cool card. And Gemini Amethyst and Forbidden Arts of the Gishki. Oh, it's an Arsenal card. Oh, wow, that card kind of looks cool. I didn't even... I've never seen this card. That's kind of cool. Probably wasn't too meta. Gishki's never really took off as a deck. But hey, that was pretty cool. If you guys want to do a quick little recap of some of the good cards we got, I guess, like the foils and stuff, we can do a quick little recap over here. So we got a bunch of foils uh, in this month. I mean, it, you guys are obviously going to vary. Uh, I think the Ghost Trick Ollie card is good. We got two Ultra Rares out of packs. So some of you guys were like, wow, these packs might be scaled. But the thing is, guys, um, I mean, technically, yes, uh, they're, they're hooking me up with this, so they could technically rig it uh, in that sense. I will definitely say that, uh, you know, I did get them, like, totally legit. I didn't, like, I didn't scale these packs, obviously. They sent them to me. But uh, you can see that the, the packs aren't scaled because uh, they sent me these and I opened them. Sometimes you get foil, sometimes you don't. That's just a part of Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Uh, but uh, pretty cool stuff indeed. Uh, we did pull, like I said, we pulled two ultra rares, which was really nice. And then we also got a tuner's high uh, as another super rare. And then also, uh, this card's not bad, Forbidden Scripture. So that's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content. So if you're like maybe a parent and you want to get these for your kids, I think th this it's pretty fun. I mean, uh, it's it's really nice to get uh, some random packs and like obviously getting OCG packs was kind of nice. I'm, I'm excited to get Yangzing Path because uh, that's a pretty decent card. And I, I think with the new Yangzing support, guys, I think that card could be pretty good. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the opening. If you guys want to check out the site, I'll leave it down below in the description box. And you guys can check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! Parcel, which is like Yu-Gi-Oh! Loot Crate, and you can open up some fun packs. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'm signing out.